advanced human. The greatest thing in life is not having a base of a home and to be able to speak your mind freely when even without having to consult to the problem of language barriers. We can confirm or we can firmly believe that these days on the planet the English languages have been the de facto language for everybody as long as they are human. This de facto language is like music in its most basic level of understanding for listeners who is able to hear the sound and they can confirm with anyone else around them that it is music. The lingua francaise or universal language has become a very different type of project for some advanced cities like Hong Kong and Singapore. For example, in Hong Kong, a lot of secondary schools are taught in Hong Kong's native language, Cantonese, with a compulsory English course within the school system as their secondary language until the student graduates from high school. Meanwhile, the architecture of urban environment in the city like Hong Kong is not to a human scale environment. It is compulsory to place themselves within the genetics of an architecturally enhanced structure with mechanically fitted design and buildings. When you come to think about the level of transmission between every layers of the building design, they are just a structural of helix in the reinforcement of technology and innovations. Every building has supplies of electrical design, climate assist input and output, and retrofitting in plumbing and water system. These architecture are in a super state or post advanced society when we begin to build environment and community that no one would have thoughts of living in a high rise structure advanced society by thinking Hong Kong people is isolated or antisocial. We can call this phenomenon the resin 